All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today another game review uh, and a um, another loss. <laughs> it's uh, I, I, I don't really know what to say anymore. Um, it sucks because I look at these standings and I, I, I legitimately like hate seeing the Flyers in sixth place. Like, 21, 19, and 7 with 49 points, and every other team is 60, 63, 63, 64. That's Boston, Islanders, Penguins, and Caps. Rangers are still in the fight, but they need to pick up some wins, and um, they got one last night, which helped their chances. But uh, I, I just legitimately, I still cannot believe this team is not going to make the playoffs this year. And there's, again, it's there's a lot of questions going into the offseason. Um, they have nine games left now. You have a four-game skid coming up um, against New Jersey. Uh, then you got Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh again, and then a double back-to-back uh, uh, -back with the Capitals there. So you actually have two back-to-backs, two with uh, one with Pittsburgh, then one with the Caps. Um, and then you end the season on May 10th against New Jersey at home. Um, so nine games left, played the Devils five times, Pittsburgh twice and the Caps twice more. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. And, uh, I, again, it, at this point, it's, I, I don't even like get mad at the things that happen in the game. I just try to enjoy it because there's only a handful left. Like, like they lose this game four one. Um, I still don't like these lines. I've been saying this all year. Uh, G. Coots, Vorchek, Faraby, Hayes, Allison, JVR, Lawton, Konechny, Limblom. Jackson Cates makes his NHL debut. He's the fourth flyer this year uh, to make his debut. Um, Albie Kupel uh, was the winner on that, that line there. Um, Provorov, Braun, Sanheim, Hag, Ghost Myers, and obviously Lyon. And then for this one, because of the back-to-back -back and Hart still being injured. Um, it's, uh, it is what it is. I mean, I, I don't mind the top nine. I'd, I'd like to see a little bit of a switch, but right now for things that what things have been clicking and, you know, they've been getting results from guys like Allison and, and Farabee. I think they've all been having good years. And, um, you know, I, I, I really don't necessarily like this third line, JVR Lawton Kennedy. It's okay, but I, I'd rather see something different. I've always liked G with Coots um, and Jake there. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. As for the deep pairs, I mean, I mean, this team has Braun playing top pair. I mean, I think that kind of explains their issues right there. Um, it's supposed to be where Myers is at, and he's playing with Ghost on the third pair, so that, that's kind of showing you. Um, but, you know, this game was it, it was all right. I mean, first period, um, it was more Rangers than it was Flyers. I mean, the Flyers couldn't really get much going. Um, the Rangers took the lead early on, on a uh, power play goal where they moved the puck literally with the – it was just the easiest thing for them and it's been one of the biggest issues with the PK is they just let teams pass the buck around like it's nothing they kind of just stand there and they look like potted plants on skates um it's uh it's just so unfortunate because the PK was so good last year and now it's just taken a huge step back it's it's I think it's 30th in the league I mean that's how bad it is um so one off the Rangers and the Flyers get one right back Lindblom scores uh off a of, Pretty good cycle um, by Jake Coots and Limblom who were out there on the mic on the switch because uh, I, I don't think Limblom could have got off in time and he ended up scoring. Where it was a weird play, like Jake passed it and Limblom kind of went to retrieve it, just rolled in. <laughs> like I, I still I watch it now and I'm like, how did that go in? But anyway, one uh, tie game there. Fires get it right back, and then the Rangers score. Um, on a total breakdown in front of the net, just left lying out the dry because Ghost was screwed because Myers played his guy so far up the board that no one covered him on D then. And it was just a total mess. And Pavel Buchnevich walked in and scored. Uh, so 2 1 after the first there. Second period. Um, the 5 1 3 in this period was the critical point of this game. If you score, it's a 2 2 game. You had some looks. Um, I would rather see more. To the net, uh, some tips more. I'd rather see point shots. Instead, they tried the, you know, 
pass through over to Voracek and go to the middle for JVR. It was really nice save by Georgiev. Everything was kind of low to his pads. It, they weren't really trying to shoot. It was like these like tip plays and stuff. I don't mind it, um, but I would just rather them see, shoot more. And Ghost ended up breaking a stick and then Lion had to save a breakaway on it too. So that was pretty much it um, for the second there. That was like the turning point. Lion had some good saves early on. Cates had a couple good shifts too. I thought he looked really good. I, I, again, I don't expect, I mean, like he's not a guy that's going to like wow you, but he's a guy that's, you know, he's going to come in, he's going to do his thing. And that's why they kind of give him the law and mold, right? Because he's a guy that's going to, you know, come in, do his job, do it efficiently. And, and that's pretty much it. Um, Raiders get one, another one there. Lafreniere scores of a turnover by Brown behind the net, scramble in front, and he tucked it home. And then Phil Pedal scores to make it 4-1. A terrible goal there for a line one. He'd want back. But um, listen, this is this year has, has really been bad. It's It, it, it stinks. Um, I hate seeing this team do this. And um, it is what it is. You got nine games left. And uh, we'll see what happens. But um, Flyers play the Devils tomorrow. The first of four games against them. Uh, so tomorrow is a home game, and then the next two are road games on Tuesday and Thursday, the 27th and 29th, and then Saturday, May 1st, is a home game as well. Um, and then, then, as I said earlier, they end the season on May 10th. So um, only nine games left in the uh, final stretch here. Remember, guys, podcast articles, those links are all on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.